everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I got, I got Minho with me today. Yeah. You sound so excited. It's like you want to <laughs> be here. <laughs> <laughs> For this book, yeah. Yeah. Hey, at least you're not like Sage. They had a, they went through hell and back. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, we are reading Shane. <laughs> yep. I, I guess we're Shane both reader. in the same boat. <laughs> Shane Cosby. I don't like Shane. He's my least favorite bachelor. Which is Do you saying like something. Shane more than Bill Cosby? I think I like Haley more than I like Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather be. <laughs> Wait a minute! Did you just say I like Bill Cosby more than Shane? <laughs> I'm gonna, I think it's gonna have to be Shane. Which which order is this again? Wait, like Bill Cosby's dead last, and then there's Shane. Shane barely beating out Cosby. Okay. Yeah, basically, he he won by like if this was a race, Shane would win by point two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot in a in a hundred meter dash. That's a lot. Yeah, see, I'm smart like that. <laughs> exactly. No allegations. <laughs> All right, th we're on. This is our third time reading Shane, and the last time we read this was five months ago. So I, we can tell you we don't remember anything from this. We'll figure it out as we go. I'll, the last thing I read goes like I was trying to match the last paragraph to what we read, so I know what the next chapter we're supposed to read is, and it was like, "I'm sorry, mom. I know I couldn't fix you, but maybe I can fix him." And I'm like. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Mom drama. <laughs> so I, I think so Sonic? Shane had a mental breakdown. Did you say Sonic? I did say Sonic. <laughs> did, how do you make that distinction? I don't know. <laughs> I said the wrong S word. <laughs> so Sonic, Shane... It's a 50-50. <laughs> sands. So, yes, yeah, Sands. How do I never put that on the wheel of curse shit? Like a Sans X reader. <laughs> sans X Shane? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm trying to remember the, uh... It was popular on Tumblr. It's Sans X and that guy from Mob Psycho? Which guy? The main character? I think it's the main character. He has orange hair. Orange hair? I think. Hold on. Uh, like, Raymond? Is it Raymond? I don't know. I, I, oh, it's like a crack ship. Hold on. I'm gonna look up Sans X and then see if what pops up. Why? Why the? F well, like Nagito also pops up. God damn it! It's from Mob Psycho or a like Mob's a hundred. Mob Psycho a hundred. Yeah, it's the guy with the orange hair in the in the thing. I don't know his name though. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know any orange hair. Wait, is it is it Raymond? Wait, no, I'm about to I'm about to take a screenshot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Raymond. Okay, it's like a screenshot. Oh, Ray Reagan. Oh, I forgot his name. It was Reagan, not Raymond. Raymond. <laughs> That's the whitest name ever. <laughs> and I would know. I have a cousin named that. This voice actor is so famous. I like him. Alright, I sent you the picture. This is this is the guy I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Reagan. Yeah, for some reason people ship Sans and that guy together. I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see it. Don't see it. I don't know, it's a Tumblr thing. People ship anything together. Like, That's true. Oh fuck! What was the one? It was Elsa and uh, that one dude from Rise of the Guardians, Jack Frost. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even. Gonna... <laughs> Don't question. Do they just people. had ice powers. <laughs> you do you people. Yeah, basically. All right, this one's called Friends. Let me get the coin. Do you want to be heads or tails to go first? Oh my god, wait. 
just a side note, but I was just looking at this guy's <laughs> voice actor, Reagan. Yeah. And he's done so many just popular characters. Mm hmm Like, there, Jujutsu Kaisen, JoJo's. Wait, he was in JoJo's for what? Okay, he's, wait, uh, wait, are know, we talking Japanese or English? Do you watch dub? Yeah. Don't talk to me. I'm this sorry. thing is over. <laughs> We're not ready. <laughs> Sometimes I want to get the funny joke. Some some things I'll watch and sub. Other things I'll watch and dub. You know. It was nice to meet you. Good no, day. no. <laughs> You're telling me that if like so, like Psyche K came on, you would watch that shit and sub. It's funny as I, I shit and dub. I watched the whole thing and sub. It's funny as shit and dub. Some things are funny and dub. You what? That whole show is based on inside Japanese jokes. Shut up. <laughs> so you telling me that when <laughs> fucking Ghost Stories comes on, you watch that shit and sub? I, I haven't seen Ghost Stories. Yeah. But I always watch sub. Always. Damn. <laughs> At least I'm not shunning you for watching only sub, and you're shunning me right now. The only thing I, <laughs> the only thing I watched in dub was like Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. <laughs> wait, and so Pokemon. I was like, wait, you watch Pokemon in Japanese? <laughs> 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 All right, if you're okay, done okay, shaming okay, me, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you want to be heads up? Actually, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not done <laughs> shaming you, but okay. it'll come up later. Yeah, it's gonna like be. I'm gonna be reading, and you're like, "Damn, that sucks for that guy." Just like some people that watch dubbed anime. <laughs> Man, I can't believe you watch JoJo's in dub though. I is did. it good? In it is good. <laughs> in my professional opinion. Huh. I will not take your word for it, but you can flip the coin. Okay, heads or tails. Uh, tails. It's tails. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, what? I just have your word, huh? Do you want me to film it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Right, <laughs> okay. Uh, friends. Oh, I need to replace this. Yeah, YN. replace YN with Bill Cosby. What a, what okay. a sentence. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, that is one of the top sentences of all time. It had been a hard last couple of days. You had been staying away from people as much as you could. You still did the farm chores, but in an automatic sort of way. Sleep captivating you, and when it came, it was followed by cool, cruel dreams. That whole scene kept playing over and over in your head. I should have said something. You finally got enough money and materials to ask Robin if she could build you a coop. You had been so excited about finally having it be built, but now it was some. It was sort of just reminded you of shame. You weren't really sure what to do. Should I go talk to him, or wait until he talks to me? Will he ever? He might be upset if I talk to him. Maybe he doesn't want me taking to him, talking to him at all ever again. In the evening, you were taking a walk on the mountain. As you passed by Robin's house, you noticed the garage door was open. That was strange. It was never open. You moved closer and noticed somebody working under a navy blue motorcycle. They were wearing all black. Oh, it's Sebastian then. Maybe a bit of conversation will do me good. You walked over and stood next to Sebastian. Hey, Sebastian. Oh, hello, Bill Cosby, he said, sliding lightly forward. What are you doing? What, you haven't seen my motorcycle before? Hmm. I guess I haven't shown it to you. No, I never even knew you had one, I think. That's cool, though. You could see oil stains on his cheek. He slid back under the motorcycle, and you could hear the clanking of metal tools. Sometimes after the sundown, I make a long ride out of Stardew Valley. There's nothing like it, blazing along the empty stretch of the road toward the faint city glow. He paused, and you heard more clanking. Once I've saved up enough money, I'm going to head out on my own to the city and beyond, just me and my bike. I'm sure you'll do great out there. You're brilliant and very independent. You heard an extra loud clank. Uh, thanks, he muttered. A minute or two passed as you waited for him to finish with his bike. There we go. Oil's changed. He slid out from under the bike and sat on the floor, so he sat next to him. Hey, maybe I'll take you for a ride someday. That sounds fun. He smiled for the first time in days. 
Can Great. we just flip the switch and just date Sebastian instead? I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll so serve with just, an S. <laughs> just replace a Shane with the name Sebastian and Sebastian with the name Shane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. Exactly. <laughs> Great, he quickly got up. I have to get back to work. See you around. Okay, bye then. You were a little disappointed. You went fishing in the mountain until late. That way nobody would be around on your way home. Didn't catch anything good. I don't know why I even bought her fishing. I suck. <laughs> Must that's be so, you. That sounds like me in Stardew Valley. Man, I fucking suck at this. <laughs> it was 11pm, so you decided to head home to another night of no rest. As you were entering your farm, you saw Shane standing outside your house. He began to take a step forward, but then he muttered something and walked back. You caught up to him. Shane, wait. He stopped and turned to look at you. I'm sorry if I upset you that day. I'm sorry for not doing anything or saying anything. You began to tear up, your fists clenching. Okay, I actually, I don't remember any of this, but you know what? We'll, Who's I'll that? read and I'll get context. It was that, <laughs> uh, that like heart scene where he's passed out in his room and he's like, like, I'm better off dead, and then Jazz hears it and gets upset, and then everyone's upset. And we're trying to see, like, standing there. <laughs> like, awkward. Huh. Was that his heart scene? Never yeah, got to it. Yeah, it was basically. <laughs> Did you ever get to it? Yeah. Oh, I wow. just wanted blue chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you just pass out on the floor saying I should kill myself, and you're like, so when are those blue chickens coming by? <laughs> yeah, basically. I'm like, can I can I get that <laughs> expedited, please? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you apologizing? None of what happened was your fault. I just... It's like I'm losing my mind. His gaze fell to the floor. Lean on me, okay? We're friends. I'm here for you. Don't you see that? You took a hold of his hand. Your tears were still streaming down your face. Yeah, okay. He looked at you. Listen. I'm sorry for yelling at you. You're the only person in this shit town that has been nice to me. You didn't deserve that. He pulled you closer to him and held you tightly for a few minutes. Sorry. It was a reflex. <laughs> <laughs> and forgive me, so don't worry. Your crying finally eased down and he gently pulled away. Thanks, he smirked. I didn't know you were such a crybaby. Shut up. You softly hit him on the arm. By the way, my chicken coop is finally being built. I've been wanting to tell you. That quickly? Very nice job. Anyways, get some rest, yeah? You look exhausted. He looked at your face with a frown of concern. Mm-hmm. I will. You too, please. Right, well, good night then. You tell me more about your plans with the coop tomorrow at the saloon. I will definitely do that tomorrow, he smiled. You watched him leave your farm into the forest as he began to head back to Marnie's ranch. The stars shone a little brighter that night. Your heart felt much lighter and much warmer as you dozed off to sleep. Oh, I hate Shane. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna get the blue chickens and dip. Yeah, All right, thanks, bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> what does a blue chicken do? Nothing, it's just for aesthetics. <laughs> I was gonna give him, like, more eggs or something. No, I wish. You just get a blue chicken. Dang, so there's really no upside to going for the Shane route. Yeah, basically. People marry him They're... just to get the blue chickens, and I'm like, Hi, honey, no. There's so many better options, like Dr. Harvey. <laughs> yeah, of course. No and, bias there. And Elliot. Elliot was, is a good choice, too. He was my first get to go to in, in Stardew Valley. So he's not a bad choice. I think Abigail is the best choice. Of course you do. <laughs> okay, you don't get the harp on me after reading 20 freaking Harvey fan readers. Fan, fan fictions. Yeah. What do you mean? It's the same one. It just takes this fucking forever to get through. <laughs> They're one piece. One piece, yeah. <laughs> All right, the chicken coop. Is this where we get blue chickens finally? <laughs> Maybe. 
The little coop is complete. Robin said I could fit four chickens in it. I already had the names for my first two. You sat at the saloon. Alright, but first, have you built a fence around it? Got plenty of hay around for them? Did you make sure to build it in a grassy area? Shane put down his beer. See, um, that's what, uh, this is what I have you for. You smile what? sheepishly. But I did make sure it's by a grassy area with plenty of space, as you uh, previously told me to do. Good thing tomorrow is Sunday, then. I'll help you get everything set up. I don't want him around. <laughs> <laughs> hope he gets called in to work tomorrow. <laughs> really? You don't have to. It's your only day off. What else would I be doing? Drinking in my room? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'd rather you do that. <laughs> Thank Dang. you. He's I'm sorry. I'm very bitter towards shame. <laughs> Didn't you I'm pick this? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was the only book that was actually good, alright? I just hate Shane. <laughs> I put we put it on the wheel as a joke, and here we are, three sessions into it. <laughs> Thank you, you're the best. I'm gonna head home. I'll see you around 12 p.m.? Sure thing. Night. Good night. As you walked away, you looked back and thought you saw him smile. Could it be, could it be because of me? No, you chuckled. We're just friends. But I'm happy with that. Good. <laughs> Keep it that way. <laughs> that morning you woke up at your usual time, watering your crops and harvesting what was ready. You gather some old stakes you had put out behind your house and laid them next to the green coop. You saw Shane begin to approach. He was wearing that uh, Joja uniform, even though he wasn't working. I wonder if he the has Jojo any other clothes. Jojo uniform? Oh my god. He's a Jojo. <laughs> Jojo Bizarre Fetch. It's soda. <laughs> Shane's Bizarre Adventures. I don't like it. Don't ruin Jojo's for me. <laughs> <laughs> you already ruined it by watching Dub. Oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm not done with you. <laughs> morning, Shane. You waved at him. Good morning. Okay, so this is the coop. You gesture towards it. I gather some stakes for the fence. I can make the holes, and you can set the ha you can you can set and hammer the stakes in. All right, then let's get started. He picked up a stake, and you handed him a hammer. You usually don't mind work or even hard work. Today, though, you were enjoying it. There was something about looking up and seeing Shane there, both of you working together. It didn't seem much like work anymore. After the fence was all up and ready, you headed back to Marnie's ranch to get some hay and pick up the chickens. Hello, Marnie, he said as you approached the counter, she behind you. Good morning, dear. Her eyes shifted towards you. Shane, what are you doing up so early? And out your room? She smiled. Can't let the new farmer make the poor chicken suffer, he said playfully. I'll help her set up the new coop. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope my nephew will be some good help to you then. What would you like to purchase? Yeah. <laughs> what? A good accent. What? Good accent. Good yeah. accent. No, 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 I'm saying good. Okay, good. I thought you'd be like, what the fuck was that accent? <laughs> <laughs> I call him my lot of hard accent. <laughs> oh, he's a... Oh, what would you like to purchase? Oh, he is great help. He gave her a thumbs up with a serious look. Can I get ten stacks of hay and two chickens, please? Uh, of course. Shane carried the hay while you carried the two baby chickens. He set up some food for them on on the feeding bench and put the rest away. So what are you going to name them? I was thinking um, uh, miso and nutmeg. You smiled as if proud, expecting him to make fun of you. But he didn't. Sounds good. Put a little miso and nutmeg down there. Gently. W what if I just threw them? <laughs> just a... <laughs> Let them fly down. <laughs> Listen, don't take your hate on Shane out on the chicken. Yeah, you're right. I should throw Shane in the air. <laughs> I'm trying to fly down. Yeah. You did, and they immediately ran towards around the coop. Shane watched them, kneeling over, occasionally petting their heads with his... Oh, sorry. I forgot I replaced the word finger with nublet, so I <laughs> so I got real confused. Uh, hell? <laughs> it's, it's an inside uh. joke. Don't worry about it. Occasionally yeah, petting their, their head with his fingers. He smiled. Honestly smiled. It was one of those moments. Back in your mind... When your mind begins to record because... Wait. When your... Oh, fucking God. <laughs> when your mind begins to record... 
to record because the scene no. is too important to forget. No, I, no, no. I did it. You did it wrong. I f oh, fuck. <laughs> it's when, when your legs don't work like they used to before. <laughs> and you can't sweep them all off your feet. <laughs> because deep inside you, it changes something. Most often, people tend to record bad memories with their mind, but this is one of the times when it wasn't. I wish it was. Then there was something I couldn't hate him, like I could hate him for, you know? <laughs> I'm a biggest hater. Every other breath you take is a shame hate. It's just... Uh, I hate Shane. <laughs> every other breath. Yeah. I mean, here, it's a trade-off. I talk about hating Shane. You talk about... Hating dubs and me apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't care if you hate Shane. I just feel bad for Shane. Make sure to let them let them out every day, but not when it rains. Don't forget to feed them when they're inside the coop, and don't let them outside overnight. Okay, Mr. Chicken Whisperer, you chuckled. I'll take good care of them. I promise. I'm sure you will. They'll be happy here. You're weird, but you're very kind. Oh fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what if I have a, a thousand dollar collection of his e-pop shit? I'm not weird. I'm just passionate. <laughs> that is weird as you. You blush a little. <laughs> yeah, maybe not that weird. He smirked. By the way, I have some veggies if you want surf- That I can surf right in the house. You want to come for dinner? Uh, no, don't invite him in. <laughs> it's late and I want to thank you for all the help. I know it might not, you know, you might not be a fan of veggie stir fry, but it's all I have. You said apologizing. No, that sounds good actually. I can take a break from the pepper poppers and pizza for for once in a while. He said with a chuckle. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? To make it easier for you, why don't you get the POV reader and replace the period with screw Shane and uh, <laughs> comma with like fuck Shane, and then you can just. You can just read, you know? Just I, with no, you know you I don't, don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> that would be funny, though. <laughs> I learned to make these for you. I'll make up. I'll, I'll learn to make those for you one day, for sure. You both went inside your house. Sorry the place is sort of small, but make yourself at home. It's cozy. Thanks. You can just sit at the table while I make the food. I oh, know, I can help. What? What? Am I supposed to just. Wait. Fuck. <laughs> What? Am I supposed to just sit and watch you do all the work? I guess not then. You smile at his willingness to help. Here, you can cut these mushrooms. We have mushrooms? Oh yeah. We do have mushrooms. <laughs> you cooked dinner together. It was a little sloppy. Shame obviously didn't have a lot of experience in the kitchen, but he tried. I had to stop myself. <laughs> I, I refrained. You guys should be thanking me. <laughs> Anger management. <laughs> The mushrooms were cut too thick, and you were pretty sure that they were probably the little bits of dirt were still left from the kale. But you both ate it contently. It was the best dinner you've had since you arrived. Oh my god, it's the Stardew Valley Fair! Yeehaw! <laughs> Hold on, I want to replace periods with, <laughs> with I hate you, Shane. I hate oh Shane. I want to see how many it's going to do. Oh god, this is Bro, a nightmare! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I should take it. <laughs> yeah, hold on, I'm taking a screenshot and saying this to you, it's really funny. This, this is what <laughs> happened to my thing. <laughs> oh my god, you're about to send me a hate crime screenshot. Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> did you replace the spaces? I did the dot. I guess it just made everything I hate Shane, I hate Shane, I hate Shane. Oh god. Oh, worth it. I think it replaced everything with a hate Shane. It, it looks like it, that's the only thing I can see. Yeah. Okay. Stardew Valley Fair. The day of the Stardew Valley Fair had arrived. I had received a letter from Mary Lewis about a week ago explaining that this was th that this fair was a big event for the town. Apparently, people from all over the country came for it. You were intending to display your produce for the event. I really doubt I will win it all. 
I'm sure I'll probably do badly, but I think I'll enter anyways. It was almost 9am, so you begin to head over to the fair. You were bringing an amethyst, amaranth, a purple mushroom, grapes, an albacore you recently caught, a pumpkin, a plate of sashimi, a haz hazelnut, and an eggplant. I thought you were about to say you brought a heisen. <laughs> <laughs> Not a I brought a heisen, yes. Everything was of the best quality you had, which was probably not much compared to the others. There was cool breeze, but the sky was clear and the sun helped keep you warm. You looked for Mayor Lewis, and you found him rather quickly as you arrived. Well, Bill Cosby, it's the big day, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a gra Grange display, I have left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you've set everything up so we can get to the judging. Uh, thank you. I'll go do that. You walked over to the Grange displays and noticed Piers, Marnies, and Willies looking amazing. You politely, you politely greeted everyone. Car Caroline explained how Pier had been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. I probably shouldn't have procrastinated like I tend to do. Marnie claimed hers wasn't as good as Pierre's, but you assured her it looked great, which it did. Willie tried to encourage you to no avail. Your bit of confidence began to flee quickly. You set up your display and just walked away. It felt inadequate. You overheard the tourist talking about Marnie's display. Wow, that's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Very impressive. I told her it was great. You sighed. You ran into Sebastian. He thought he'd be with Sam and Ab Abigail, but he wasn't. It's kind of hectic today. There's so many people over, all over the place. He seemed a little annoyed. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, should I? You were interrupted. No, no, so are you participating in that Grange display? His hands were in his pockets, and he leaned against the fence. Uh, yeah, I am, but don't bother even looking. Your smile looked a little sad. I'm sure it'll be disappointing. Why? His brow wrinkled, and he looked at you. Well, everybody else's looked much better. Huh? I don't even have to look, and I know yours is better than theirs. What do you mean? Trust me, you'll do fine. He closed his eyes and took a drag off the cigarette. Um, thank you. I'm gonna say, go say hi to everyone else. You wanna come? I'm just gonna hang out here for a while. I'll be there for the judging. Oh, great. You gave a small chuckle as, you're, as you rubbed your arm. You continued to greet people and found Shane standing by some cows, chickens, and pigs. You immediately felt slightly better. Hey Shane, is this like a petting zoo sort of thing? You look towards animals. Hey, yeah, these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. He said as he rubbed the cow's head. You want to try? Hmm. Would I pass up the chance to pet some adorable, cuddly creatures? Heck yes, I want to try. He smiled at your response. Alright, come closer. You did, and he took your hand, slowly raising it towards the cow's snout and holding it there. The cow smelled your hand, and Shade proceeded to softly place your hand on the cow's furry head. It was warm. You blushed slightly. <laughs> Whenever he touched you, your body felt tingly. Even it was... <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was coming. <laughs> Even if it was just to put your hand on a cow's head. You rubbed the cow as Shane fed it some hay. Vincent was standing on the small fence yelling, Moo. Moo. <laughs> Bro, you doing well, too like much. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get the perfect move from Minecraft. I was trying to remember what it sounded like. You should do like the ones that like Markiplier did, and he was like, Moo, Moo, Moo. <laughs> well, Jess looked resentfully, re resentfully at the hens. You asked Shane if he wanted to walk around with you, and he agreed. People seemed a little surprised to see Shane walking around the fair. As he walked by Haley and Alex, he noticed her giving you an ugly look. Oh, look, it's the dirty farmer in the town drunk. <laughs> Her hand was placed on her hip. Haley, come on, Alex said, but he laughed and smiled along. Don't they make a cute couple? Are you guys matching? Is that why you wear ugly clothes every day? <laughs> okay, this is the See, funniest. She's story. a lot better than Jen. 
Uh, her insults are actually funny. Uh, she was laughing. She sounds like she sounds like some high school bully from some like movie that tries too hard to sound like a bully. Well, oh, you said tries too hard. I was thinking Mean Girls, where she's like, "Oh my god, that's such a cute little bracelet," oh, yeah, yeah. and then she turns like, mean I, "That's girls? the ugliest yeah. fucking bracelet I've ever seen in my life." <laughs> Man, I haven't watched Mean Girls in like ten years. All right, movie night. <laughs> We're watching Mean Girls. No, I'm not watching that willfully. Oh, okay. It was funny though. It yeah. was funny. <laughs> uh, what was I? Oh, she was laughing. Let's go, Shane. You just wanted to ignore her as you usually did. Ah, uh, going so soon. She raised her eyebrow as if she had won, but Shane suddenly stopped. He walked up to Haley. Oh, they're gonna scrap. You're gonna scrap. Oh my God. Okay. You can make fun of me all you want. But don't talk like that about Bill Cosby. <laughs> he raised his hand and flicked Haley's forehead, then walked away. Haley stood there in shock. Her face began to turn red. Alex couldn't help but chuckle, which made her even more upset, and she took it out on him as she hit his arm repeatedly. She was screaming something about, Ew, how dare he touch me? I'll never forgive them. Why are you laughing at me? You should have defended me. You and Shane fast walked away until her screams got less noisy. You turned to him. I can't believe you did that. You were laughing. She had it coming. He shrugged. Well, thank you anyways. Don't mention it. Hey, shouldn't we be getting to the Grange this way? Judging is gonna begin soon. Oh, yeah. That. Your spirits fell again. What's wrong with that? He looked at your face. It's just... Marty has all these big quality animal products. Pure has a beautiful collection of colorful fruits and vegetables that he's been planning for weeks. Willie has fish I never even knew existed. Mine is just a mediocre mix of things. Sure, maybe their displays are more specific. Aunt Marnie has a ranch, Pure sells seeds, and Willie's a fisherman. It makes sense for them to have the best of what they do, but you do everything and you work hard at everything. It'll show. You've only been here for a few months, and you've accomplished so much. More than I ever have. Don't worry so much. But what if it's not good enough and nobody likes it? Your eyes were glued to the floor. It'll be more than enough. He gently lifted up your chin with his hand so you were looking at him. And even if nobody likes it, I'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> enough with the sappy shit. <laughs> His eyes look soft and less dark at that moment. Let's go before it gets too late. He took your hand and led you to the displays. No, it's funny. Like, I'm. I, we're gonna, blah, blah. I literally had a full on, like, scenario like this that I had to read through for, like a, like, a dating sim I was playing. And I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. And then I'm reading it, like, like for this character. I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> It's all about who's saying it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Mary Lewis asked if you were ready for the judging to begin. He looked at Shane and he nodded at you, so you said yes. Mary Lewis then chuckled, er, then checked every display, writing things onto a small notepad. Shane stood there with you and you noticed Sebastian standing a few feet away from you, smoking his usual cigarettes. You were staring at him, so he slowly turned his gaze to you. He gave you a thumbs up, which was sort of unexpected from Sebastian. He smiled back at him after Mary Lewis was done. He had stood in the center of the displays. Come talk to me to learn about the results. He walked up to him. Congratulations, Bill Cosby. You got second place. Not bad for your first fair. Here's your price of 500 star tokens. Thank you so much. He felt a sense of relief. You were walking back to Shane with a smile on your face, but Sebastian stopped you. Oh, hey Sebastian, thanks for coming to my to see my display. What place did you get? You could see Shane looking over at you from a distance. I got second place, I'm pretty happy with that. Mary Lewis congratulated me and gave me a price and everything. You showed him the tokens. You should have gotten first place, he scoffed. The other displays weren't half as good as yours. 
I don't know about that, he chuckled. It wasn't that great. It had the most spirit and variety. The others were boring to look at. Anyways, I'll let you go back to your friends. Well, thank you. Do you want to come with us? We'll probably wander around the fair for a bit longer. You can use some of my tokens. I have plenty for three of us now. Um, good, thanks. See ya. He flicked the cigarette to the ground and stepped on it, then walked off. You made your way to Shane. So, what did you place? He asked. Second. And I didn't even... I didn't think I'd be even close. I thought I'd get last. And you probably thought everyone would hate your display and laugh at you, you big dummy. Whatever. He squinted at him. Look. I got 500 star tokens as a price. Let's go spend it. Alright, sure. What do you want to do? You and Shane wandered around the fair playing all the carnival games. He did terribly at the fishing one, as was expected. Neither of you were very good at the slingshot game. You kept laughing at how frustrated Shane kept getting. It was kind of cute. Towards the end of the fair- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, It was coming, it was coming. Yeah, I was like, I can do this, I can do it, and then you read that, I'm like, no, I can't do it no more, I'm folding. <laughs> I fold. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm Towards folding it a bad way. <laughs> Towards the end of the fair, you ran into the mysterious wizard who lived in the tower in the forest. You didn't know his name, so you just called him Wizard. He spoke to you of the woman who was in the tent next to him called uh, Wellwick. Apparently, she was a remarkable diviner. Let's try it, you said to Shane. You try it. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Fine. You made a pouty face. You approached the woman as Shane followed behind you. Ah, uh, yes. My crystal ball is swirling with visions of your future, young one. She was an elderly woman wearing a dark blue cloak. Could you read my fortune, please? You said, handing her some tokens. Ah, yes. I see you, middle-aged. And the man next to you, working on a farm together. You seem happy about something. Now you are young again, standing in the rain. A man in black watches from a distance. Something is in his hand. You wave at him. The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. Ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now, just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you can still be changed. If you set your heart on it. Farewell. What? Man, that's not how fortunes work. Yeah. You can't just say a future and then say, well, I mean, it might happen. <laughs> hey, that's the best way to get a no refund policy, you know? <laughs> exactly. You I can change your future. <laughs> <laughs> I should be. I should actually be a, a fortune teller. You I'll just tell like, money. I'll tell little kids like, you'll be rich, you'll be famous, you'll be wealthy. Yeah, but this could change in the future. But trust me, <laughs> I could see the future, but you know, only if you work hard. Yeah, only if you do. I'll give you my fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cheap. Hey, Thank psychics you. can go for a hundred and forty dollars. What, like real life psychics? Yeah, real life psychics. Bro, what the? Yeah, I should what, send you the Jade anime. Reading? Yeah, it's like uh, they do like palm readings, the tarot cards, and like some other stuff. But I can send oh, you the Jaden animation video where she went to like four different psychics. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, uh, I'm job changing. <laughs> what <laughs> my major thanked. is now? <laughs> my major is now fortune telling. Yeah. What What was your major before? <laughs> Uh, computer science, so there's a little Wait, bit of a actually? hurdle. <laughs> bit of a hurdle, but, you know, I'll get there. Wait, I thought yours wasn't computer science. I just assumed yours was. Oh, what did, what major did you think that was? I, know, I always assumed it was, but then... Oh, I think I'm thinking about Andrew, because Andrew is in a computer science major. I just assumed all of Cameron's friends were computer science majors. <laughs> yeah. And I guess that is right, still. It's still on track. <laughs> I don't think I would have met Cameron if not for...
comps. So I, I don't remember the first time I met him. How did I meet him? <laughs> he just appeared in your life. <laughs> he just. He, he just, just manifested. <laughs> I don't think he's real, actually. Yeah, he's like uh, he's like the SCP cousin Johnny. He just appears at functions. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he's just he's just in my mind. Yeah. Like he All just right. appears, uh, and then you're just like, oh yeah, Cameron, love that guy. He he oh, he's he's uh, he's a funny one. <laughs> I I can remember his one. Do you watch Rick and Morty? No. Oh, there's like this Is one it... Rick and Morty episode where like. They just implanted memories in your minds, and like creatures would pretend to be people you've known your whole life. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, oh yeah. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. Thank you. Goodbye. You and Shane walked away. What could that have meant, you asked. I have no idea. He seemed to be blushing. A bunch of fake crap, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Do you think we'll still be friends when we're older? How should I know? I hope we are, he smiled. Whatever. Let's go get a drink. So yeah, you see? Fall. How can anyone like this guy? <laughs> Imagine, like... Okay, imagine like you're the main, the protagonist here, and you go to the fortune telling thing, mm -hmm. and you're like, you're you're like straight at the moment. You are you are full heterosexual, and then you just see him. You're happy with a man. You're just gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's me. Adventure at the community center. Are we doing the main storyline of Stardew Valley in fall? <laughs> Crazy. It's a bright day of fall. You've been curious about the community center, a place you constantly pass by but never really went in. A few times you felt a strange aura emanating from it. Something pulled you in, but also keeping you away at the same time. The air was cold and, the cr and crisp that morning. You took a few deep breaths and decided to go in. Back in spring, Mary Lewis barely told you about how no one seems to really care about renovating the community center, how there was a lack of caring in this town lately. You were new to this, but recently this place has been a on your mind a lot. This is where I had begun after all, seeing these weird things. Occasionally when you pass by this place, you can see small, strange creatures. They're those little puff things from Club Penguin. <laughs> They're not Junimos, they're the little puff balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You never seemed to get a good look, but you figured figured it was time to figure out what was going on. You entered one of the rooms and found a golden scroll shining. You got close and tried to read it, but it was a language you didn't recognize. When you looked up, you noticed a shadow passing by and disappearing. What was that? Probably just a rat. The place is old and so odd. It was making you nervous, so your curiosity wouldn't die. Your heart was beating faster, so you decided to walk it out. It may not be safe. Maybe it'd be less scary if I take someone with me. Like Shane? I'll ask in the night. Literally ask anyone else, girl. <laughs> With things literally called Shane Reader. We can ask Sebastian. He's right next door to this place. <laughs> As you walk home, your breath was back to normal. You noticed you had a letter in the mail. Huh, I thought I checked it the, when I got up. My sources tell me you've been poking inside the old community center. Why not pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the, the fortress lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. And Rabotis, uh, wizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You had seen the wizard's tower before, and even spoke with him at the time or two, but it was only really at the festivals. You never had the courage to visit his home. How did he know I was at the community center anyways? Guess he really is a wizard. <laughs> you decided to visit him right away. There was no point in waiting. You wanted to know what this is all about. As you walked through the forest, a mist began to fall over the valley. A light fog began to settle. 
tower looked like something from a gothic novel. It was made of stone with an arched door. Vines covered the structure. A crow was perched on the on the tree near the door. It seemed to look at you with a <sighs> Aspel? I don't know. Ab uh, abysmal. Abysmal eyes, thank you. <laughs> this is the part of the movie where I get killed. The wizard appeared. Ah, come in! <laughs> this is my wizard voice. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> the room was lit with a fire in the corner of the room. A table with some stones was near the entrance. At, and the opposite to that was a giant cauldron with green fumes coming out. There was a bookshelf, but stacks of books were scattered on the floor as well. The wizard stood by a strange circle that was drawn on by a piece of stone floor and some crystals were placed with their lines connected. I am Rosbonius, seeker of the Ar the Arcan Truths. Uh, meditary between physical and eternal. Master of the Seven Elements, keepers of the sacred chain. You get the point. And you, Bill Cosby, I foresaw your arrival long before spring. <laughs> 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 it's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. We had spoken before, but it's good to finally meet you, Bow, trying to be friendly. Here, I'd like to show you something. He gestured towards the circle. Behold! One of the strange creatures you had seen before suddenly appeared in the middle of the circle. You've seen this one before, haven't you? He asked. You like playing Club Penguin? I always like the little puffies. <laughs> He nodded. <laughs> they call themselves Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak to me. Probably because I trapped them in these circles. The Junimo disappeared. I'm not sure why they moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. What about that golden scroll with the unknown language? Hmm, interesting. Stay here. I'm gonna find out for myself. I'll return shortly. His body began to turn to white light, and then he was gone. He looked around, but he wasn't anywhere in the room. I should probably more, be more freaked out than I am right now. He had always believed in magic, and even when society told you it was all fake, he never stopped believing, and you held on to that feeling. More than anything, you were excited that, that it was being confirmed. A few minutes passed, and the wizard walked through the door. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I'll be able to decipher it. We, the Junimos, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley, if you are one of the forest, then you will see the true nature of the scroll, he said, stirring the cauldron. One with the four oh shit. One with the forest, what do they mean? you asked. He was quiet and pensive. Sniff sniff. Ah <laughs> 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 That's my sniffing sound. I go sniff sniff. <laughs> His eyes widen. Come here. You walk over to him, not sure what was going on. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top, toadstool, can you smell it? You waft the fumes towards your face. It has a distinct aroma, earthy and bitter. Here, drink this shit! <laughs> Let the essence <laughs> of the forest penetrate your body! He, he scooped the bowl and handed it to you. You're gonna be tripping balls after this one! <laughs> <laughs> you looked at it, un slightly unsure, you pause. This has all the bad signs, but it feels right. You quickly gulp it down. You begin to feel lightheaded. You stumble and fall down. Your vision starts to turn green, and you see leaves floating around. Then trees dancing. Are you alright? <laughs> did, uh, did I put too much fucking, what is it, like CPS in here? <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the one for the weed? Like the, the edible gummies? What do you mean? CPD? Huh? Is it CPD gummies? They, it's like like gummies. Oh, oh you mean like CBD? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was like, did I put too much fucking CBD in here? I was trying to get some good melatonin gummies. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard was kneeling over you. You were lying on this wooden floor. What just happened? Everything was green and leaves and trees were swaying and... You are gaining the power to decipher the Junimo scrolls. Go back to the community center and see for yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, this is incredible, but why me? You begin to get up. They chose you, not me. Now go. You must continue working. There are many mysteries around 
Oh, it was nice to meet you. Can't wait to find out more. There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. He smiles as he opens the door for you. That was so surreal. Shane would be out there by- Should be out there by now, but... I had to go talk to him. Why? <laughs> Let us have game. <laughs> you arrived at the saloon and Shane was there waiting for you. You told him everything and asked him to come to the community center with you. Now? Are you sure you're not- You're even feeling well? I don't know if I would feel about a wizard giving you a strange drink and then you passing out and dreaming about some crazy shit. Exactly. We're oh. like high right now. <laughs> We're tripping. He definitely gave him weed. He's like, I'm telling you, man, there, there was trees, and they were dancing, and these little critters were running around, you're like, and he's like, uh-huh, yeah, and he's like, can I get Dr. Harvey to come to the saloon, please? <laughs> <laughs> Clean up Shane. on aisle seven. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, I'm fine, don't worry, come on. He could have drugged you. You seriously need to be, need to be less trusting. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but can we please check out the community center? I've been seeing them, Shane. The things are called Junimos. I've seen them before. Fine. He finished gulping down his beer. The day was already dark, and instead of the light and mist, hard rain was now falling. Shane and you started walking into the community center under the umbrella. He was quiet and seemed sort of nervous. When you arrived, the image looked worse than this morning. The lack of light made everything spooky. The vines growing seemed like tentacles threatening to choke you. A ghost or monster would come out of the cracks in holes of the walls. The windows are black and you swore you saw someone inside. As you move closer to the door, it suddenly opens slightly on its own. Jesus Christ! Are we seriously doing this? I can go by myself. You don't have to come, you offered. Really? As if I'm going to let that happen. He pushed the door all the way open and walked in. As you stepped in, the floor creaked at certain spots like the wood was crying. Or, sorry, not crying. Screaming. <laughs> As you can hear the rain tapping on the roof, leaking into some areas. You reached into your backpack and, and opened a box. When you opened it, a warm light surrounded you and Shane. What is that? He asked curiously. It's a glow ring. I found it in the mines. It emanates a constant light. Pretty cool, huh? Uh-huh, yeah. That makes me feel much better. I can't tell if he's being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't- I didn't know you were so easily scared, you chuckled. Easily scared? We're in an old beat-up building where you claim to have seen spirits. I just met- You just met some crazy guy who gave you a weird drink. It's raining and dark, need I say more? Okay, I see your point, but isn't it adventurous? I didn't drink enough for this, he sighed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we can go back. You began to feel somewhat guilty for doing this. Shut up and let's explore, he said. You smiled. <laughs> the, f the wooden floor was missing in certain parts, and weeds were growing out of it. Old books laid around, unreadable due to water damage. Some of the windows had been boarded up with planks of wood. You went back to the room with purple carpet where you have seen the golden scroll. When you looked at it, you understood what, what the genomos meant. But they want gifts, they you said, looking into the box in which the golden scroll sat. What? Shane kept looking around, like offerings to the spirits. Then they'll help us in return somehow. You walked over to the other rooms and found familiar boxes with scrolls. Are you sure any of this is real? I'm not saying it's not true, I'm just skeptical. The wizard guy is probably tricking you into giving him free stuff, you know? Don't be so cynical. I'm sure this is all true, okay? Trust me. Bill Cosby. He looked at you with uncertainty. All of a sudden you heard steps. You both turned to look in the direction of the sound. What was that? You asked. Probably the rain or something. You slowly walked out of the room when you s that you were in and saw something coming towards you. Jane took a step back and gave out a yelp, taking your oh, <laughs> taking a hold of your hand. <laughs> you moved your other hand forward to shine light at whatever it was coming, figuring it was a Junimo. Shane looked at the small round creature in disbelief. It was it was a bright yellow color and it didn't look like anything he's seen before. Then it, all of a sudden it disappeared into thin air. Holy shit, this is all real? Yeah, I wasn't joking, Shane. You pretend to be hurt. But you were actually just happy if I believed you. I'll help you then with whatever they want. 
Offerings. You smiled. Right, we'll sacrifice our blood in Haley's firstborn child. You laughed. No, they <laughs> want, like, vegetables and fruits and fish and stuff. <laughs> No, firstborn child sounds right. I'll yeah, take that, that. Yeah. <laughs> You'll take that? Uh, I mean, uh... The Junimus? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take that. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't think I'm ready for human sacrifice. You laughed and, and noticed that you were still holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> you both blushed and pulled away. I figured you were just scared and felt... Compassionate, he sh said, shrugging. It wasn't my hand that was all sweaty, just saying. Okay, maybe I was a little scared. He shot you a look. I'm not saying that. I'm sure you're just very warm. You both kept making silly jokes as you walked home. Authors, no, sorry for the long wait. Aside from working, I'm a senior in university and also an English major. My life is swamped with reading and writing. I'll update over the winter break. I do intend to continue the story. Thanks for reading. That's really reassuring because this says ongoing and it hasn't been touched in a while. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, I like that uh, the author's an English major and that they're writing. You know, it's more credibility. Yeah. Well, what did you think? It was, uh, it was great. I love Shane. Yeah. Don't you love Shane? No. He's awesome, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> he's no good. <laughs> no, he's the best character. How are you going to say that with a straight face, that he's the best character? I'm saying it with a straight face right now. He's the best character. Mm, that's some cap. I think I'd uh, place Harvey as last. <gasps> no, a lot of people do. <laughs> and it's sad. <laughs> How do you know that a lot of people place him last? Do you but have I, like a tier list of something? I remember seeing a lot of people ranking the bachelors. And uh, <laughs> one of them was like, like last place Shane. And then it was like, and then it was like num number whatever. Like second to last, Dr. Harvey. And they're like, he would have been lower if it wasn't for Shane's god-awful personality. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you guys? <laughs> Wait, I'm just realizing there are three bachelors, like the men that like that are technically labeled as older bachelors, aka Elliot, Dr. Harvey, and and Shane. Are there any women that are technically older bachelorettes? Uh, I can't think of any. Mm -mm. Not sure. I don't think so. Wow. you telling me I can't go after a cougar in Stardew Valley? No, he can't. Mm. This is a sad day. I would if I could. <laughs> like, it's revealed that, like, Abigail's, like, 30, and you're like, Yes! Let's go! <laughs> yes! This is um, a win! <laughs> what was that one freaking picture? I was like that. No, I swear I saved this. <laughs> what, the, the Spongebob of him yelling like, Yes! Let's go! <laughs> no, this is me. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, are you ready to spin the wheel, Minho? Spin la wheel. Yay. El wheel. Girar la wirada. Spin the wheel. I'll, I'll have Elf check your Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Alright, I'm hoping for a Harvey X reader, but I'm also down for a Scooby-Doo thing. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna land on Shane again. Oh god. Yeah. I mean, as long as it's not Shane, your choice. Shane, 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 Shane. Alright, well, we're going back to N, I guess. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Scooby-Doo for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I did so too. I'm like, oh my god, did I predict another wheel? That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know too much. <laughs> well, I'm excited for more green hair, man. It's my favorite. Yeah. I right, love me some good old green hair. That's half the characters you like. 
shot. <laughs> and it's, so what if That'll you're right? That would be like 80%. Hold on, I can pull up my simping tier list and I can tell you for a, for a fact if it is correct. I want to say maybe 30% now. I've gotten better. More self-control, if you will. <laughs> Don't scoff at that, I heard you. No, I just sneezed. You didn't say bless you. Oh, bless you. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Okay, so let's see. With green hair, one, two, three. Well, that guy has green as an aesthetic, so four. There's only four characters on here that have green hair. What? <laughs> only four? What? What do you mean, only four? Yeah, apparently. That's a lot. I mean, there's a lot with black. Oh, wait, I missed this guy. The, the five. <laughs> five characters of green hair. You know, that one has like a purple aesthetic, that one has a blue aesthetic. That one also has a blue aesthetic. Yeah, I got problems. <laughs> Just Maybe. looking over at my my tier list, I'm like, wow. Yeah, you, might, you might have some problems, yeah. I can't believe you're saying that to me. I thought we were friends, but no. <laughs> nope. Never. Yeah, not after I said I watched dubbed anime. <laughs> Never, yeah. Yeah. I retract my friendship. Yeah, after this recording, I'm gonna see that you blocked me. <laughs> I can't even hear you right now. Hello? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you so much for joining, Minho. I appreciate it. Damn. <laughs> well, anyway, on screen somewhere is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings I've done with Minho, including other guests. And on screen is also the last Wattpad book club reading that was uploaded, so fucking look at that shit. Minho, you have anything to say? <laughs> Don't watch Dumb Anime. Okay. <laughs> Where's the wisdom? But anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! -bye. <laughs>